go, baby. I am Paul Bennett at Down East Thunder Creations in Millbridge, Maine. This is my little budette, Gidget. She likes to help me on some of my projects as best she can. And the video I'm doing now is uh, it's a bandsaw, portable bandsaw table. And there's been a lot of those on YouTube. You'll see them all over the place. They're pretty basic. You take a portable bandsaw, you make a little table, and you mount the portable bandsaw to it so that it, it's a stationary vertical bandsaw with a flat table for cutting out small parts and things. And the trend today is to build a stand where the portable bandsaw can easily hook on. You can take it off so you can still use it as a portable bandsaw. But I don't need mine as a portable bandsaw. I need it as a stationary piece. So I just built the old style traditional table that everybody else has built. And um, it's very simple. It doesn't take much time to do. And this is specifically to fit a uh, Hopper Freight uh, Bauer brand, their newer one, new version of their portable bandsaw that you can get for around 100 bucks when they're on sale. And uh, it'll be a good addition to my shop. I can really use it. And so what I've done, the only difference between mine and the other ones you've seen on YouTube, is I'm putting together some drawings with some measurements so that for uh, those of you out there, my subscribers that like to go by drawings when they're building things, you'll have it as a reference. And that might make uh, the process go a little bit faster if you're going to build one for yourself. And there were no specific design parameters in terms of engineering. It's just a very simple table. Uh, the sizes and, and so forth involved had to do with scrap material that I had around the shop and that's it. If you want to make your table larger, you want to make it a little smaller, by all means. Uh, it doesn't have to be as tall as mine. It can be a little shorter because there's still clearance below the saw. Or you can make it taller. It's up to you. Uh, so the video is coming up next. You'll see how I built it. And uh, in the description below the video, uh, you'll find a link to where you can find the free set of drawings. I don't charge for the drawings that I put up on YouTube. For those of you who know me, and uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna get uh, started on some other projects. Uh, Gidgey's all ready to go. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you do subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll automatically be entered into my random drawing giveaways that I have from time to time when I reach certain milestones. The next one's going to be at 300 subscribers, and uh, so there's a little way to go yet. You have a chance to get in. Once you subscribe, stay subscribed because once you're a subscriber, you'll always be entered. And if you've already won, it doesn't matter. You can win a second or third time because the same pool of names go back in the hat for every drawing. And so uh, you could win more than once. You never know what's going to be given away. Uh, the next one will be one of my shoestring shipyard shop aprons. But the, uh, the, the big one at 500 will have more, and I still haven't decided what's, what's going to go with that. Also, please uh, like and share my videos. I appreciate it. So thank you for watching.